Hello and welcome to today's video of Electrical Materials, where today we will be covering thermal expansion. Our thermal expansion coefficient determines how much a material will expand when heated. We can solve for this coefficient by equaling our alpha, which is our thermal expansion coefficient, to our engineering strain, epsilon, over our change in temperature, delta T. Our engineering strain can be defined to be the change in length of the member, delta L, over the original length of the member, L0. So because material size is proportional to temperature, we know that the higher the thermal expansion coefficient is, then the greater the expansion will be for the material. We should keep this in mind, especially when we are asked to compare two materials and their thermal expansion coefficient. For now, let's go ahead and look at an example to further understand. So for our example, we have an aluminum rod has a length of 3 meters at 0 degrees Celsius. After undergoing a heating process, the rod's length is expanded to 5 meters at 20 degrees Celsius. Determine the thermal expansion coefficient of the material. We can start off by noting our given variables. So we know that our original length, L0, is 3 meters, and this happened at our initial temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. And we also know that our length expanded to 5 meters, and this occurred at our temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. So before solving for our thermal expansion coefficient, let's go ahead and solve for our delta length and our delta temperature. So our delta length is going to be our 5 meters minus our initial 3 meters. So that leaves us with 2 meters. And our change in temperature is going to be 20 degrees Celsius minus 0 degrees Celsius which is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. But before moving on, let's go ahead and convert this to Kelvin. So we can write 20 degrees Celsius plus 273 gives us 293 Kelvin. Now that we've simplified our variables, let's go ahead and start setting up our thermal expansion coefficient formula. So now that we've cleared the board for it to be easier to see what our variables are, we can go ahead and set up alpha is equal to our delta L, so two meters. And this is gonna be over our initial length, so three meters, and times our change in temperature, which is 293 Kelvin. Let's go ahead and move up the board to continue to solve. So we can continue to solve by simplifying our denominator and multiplying 3 by 293. So we have alpha is equal to 2 meters over 879 meters times Kelvin. And if we divide the two, we are left with alpha is equal to 0 0.002. 275 and for our units our meters cancel out and because our Kelvin is in the denominator we can write Kelvin to negative 1. We can simplify this further by rewriting it as 22.75 times 10 to negative 4 and then Kelvin to negative 1 power. This concludes our video on thermal expansion. Thank you for watching.